When you hear what Trump is saying, um, no, he doesn't want to push them into a depression. But in that same in that same discussion, he talks about more tariffs. You see, I just don't think the market is at all prepared for an additional slap bang wallop of tariffs. Is Mohammed El Arian right? The death nail in synchronized glow growth was was closed this weekend at the IMF Bali meetings. I'm a lot less worried about it than he is. I mean, I think he's not going to cause 1929 in China because Chinese economic destiny is largely in their own hands and he doesn't control it. So I, I and I actually think he's pushing on an open door. So I think people have a lot more sympathy with Trump. It's a lot more logical when he tries to take on, for example, the Europeans, ironically, where you have a German economic model that is actually premised on running trade surpluses. The Chinese now, for the best part of a decade, have been saying we want to rebalance growth. He's absolutely pushing on an open door when it comes to their structural economic dynamics. Now, you can argue over the political fairness issues over specific goods and industries, but really that's a sideshow. The big call with respect to the Chinese economy is the mix of domestic demand versus exports, and the Chinese themselves want to stimulate domestic demand, and that's actually starting to happen. So I think the unintended consequence here is actually recession risk, mm. economic risk in China goes down, because if anything, these actions are bringing forward monetary and fiscal easing. So personally, I'm actually very positive about the prospects for domestic Chinese risk assets because you've got Chinese domestic equities and single-digit PE multiples, and you've now got an easing of fiscal and monetary policy. Are you saying then that China, and separate from the Yuan, because actually if you look at interest rate differentials between uh, the US and China, you could argue that really the Yuan as of now is not being weaponized at all. But separate to that, does China have the tools to be able to manage a soft landing no matter what President Trump does? I, I think the evidence suggests that they do. I mean, we've seen this over 15 years. I mean, it's at least 15 years that there's been repeated concerns about Chinese credit being out of control, problems okay. in the shadow banking system. And what we've seen is the Chinese have, have been, because they have multiple tools, have been expert at slowing the economy down, soft landing it, then, in, then initiating fiscal and monetary stimulus and recovering again. Now, of course, you know, no policymakers are foolproof, and China isn't some miracle economy. There's always cyclical economy economic risk. But the, the reality is, though, that they've brought forward that easing, if anything, because they've been under external threat, and that just improves the odds of success.